street continues over how three Americans died on vacation in the Dominican Republic within five days of one another. And now a woman has come forward to say that her husband also became sick and died while they were on vacation at the island paradise. She's speaking with Inside Edition about how she is looking for answers. We're learning today about the mysterious deaths of more American tourists in the Dominican Republic. Dawn McCoy and her 45-year-old husband, David, were spending a dream vacation at the Hard Rock Hotel when he suddenly became ill and died. We were having a great time, and uh, we went down there as a happy family, and we ended up coming home as a broken family. It happened last July, but she's coming forward now after hearing about the deaths of three American tourists within five days. My husband's story needs to be told because of all these other people. Some, something's not right in the Dominican Republic. Her husband's death was ruled a heart attack by authorities in the Dominican Republic, but his wife told Inside Edition she doesn't believe it. My husband was a very fit, very healthy person when he passed away, and I'm finding a lot of suspicion to it. A heart attack is also claimed to be the cause of tourist Miranda Warner's death. The 41-year-old psychotherapist was staying at the Bahia Principe Hotel. Stephen Fabian is there. So this is a room in the exact same hotel where Miranda checked in with her husband to celebrate their anniversary. You can see the accommodations, king size bed. There's a nice balcony over here. But as soon as they checked in, the husband says she had a drink from the mini bar. Now the mini bar looks pretty standard. You've got some sodas, some bottled water, some beers, some small little airplane sized bottles of alcohol there and two bags of chips. As soon as she had something from the mini bar, her husband said she felt violently ill and died suddenly right here in the room. A Colorado couple say they became seriously ill at the same resort last summer. Kaylin Null says she and her boyfriend were enjoying every moment of their vacation until their room began smelling of chemicals. They say they suffered dizziness, blurred vision, stomach cramps, and shortness of breath. We both woke up soaked in sweat at like four in the morning and kind of terrified. We booked a flight home before the sun came up. They were sick for six weeks. A doctor in the U.S. told them they had been poisoned by pesticides. It felt like a chainsaw going through my gut. Now all these tourists, those who survived and the families of those who died, say they want answers. The FBI is now working with local authorities in the Dominican Republic to try to determine what caused the recent deaths of those American tourists. One year